And topping our news at 10, a beloved community leader now on the growing list of deaths related to the coronavirus. Yeah, a real uh, tragic story here. Marlo Stoudemire passed away today at Henry Ford Hospital. We thank you for joining us tonight. As always, I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Stoudemire was a Cast Tech alum and the owner of social capital firm Butterfly Effect Detroit. He also played a role in our 2017 special about the 50th anniversary of the 1967 Detroit riots. Stoudemire took time to speak to our Chuck Stokes about the impact the riots left on Detroit and the city's history. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell joining us live. And Alan, this death is hitting close to home, especially at Henry Ford Hospital. Yeah, Glenda, that's absolutely correct. The folks at Henry Ford Hospital tonight are in shock and they're saddened to learn that their friend and former colleague, Marlo Stoudemire, passed away after contracting COVID-19. Tonight, the folks at the hospital telling me this should serve as a strong and stern reminder to the public not to take this virus lightly. It's just a, a very, very sad day. Marlo Stoudemire was a staple in the community. He was behind the Detroit 67 project. Our own Carolyn Clifford and Chuck Stokes talked to him during a town hall. He was a leader who inspired, a person who always saw what was best and had a positive outlook. Marlo was just a light to the city, a light to the region, a light in the time he spent with Henry Ford Health System. Those who knew Marlo say his ideas and vision to make something better was a quality unlike no other. Things he touched, he really made sure that they were going to exceed expectations and that they were going to be something beyond what people could imagine. Stoudemire was just 43 years old. He was a father to two young children and a loving husband. We are mourning his loss. And this is a case where COVID-19 took a 43-year-old with no underlying health conditions that had not traveled anywhere. Doctors say his death has left them looking for answers and say no one is immune to the virus. Diseases like COVID-19 are affecting all segments of the population and that the social distancing that some find a nuisance, they should consider as their obligation. Henry Ford Hospital will continue to help patients fight this deadly virus. Doctors say if we work hard together, we as a community will overcome this once and for all. Even in this terrible time, there can be some amazing lessons that we learn and that we grow stronger as a community. And I can't think of a better gift that Marla would like to see than that. And again tonight, staffers at Henry Ford Hospital just in disbelief that their friend and former colleague had passed away because of COVID-19. As you heard them say there that he was just 43 years old. He had no underlying heart, uh, health conditions and he didn't travel recently. I'm also told that folks are in contact with his family and plan on setting up a Facebook page within the next 24 hours. So people who knew him and knew him well can put their condolences on there. Reporting live tonight, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Very sad, Alan. Thank you. A, a good man and a champion for the city of Detroit, Marlo Stoudemire. Glenda? Yes, indeed, Dave. Thank you so much.